free. Well, no one should be alone during the holidays, and one Riviera Beach man made sure those affected by Hurricane Dorian had good company and some good food to eat on Christmas Day. Todd Wilson joining us live now with more on this great holiday story. Yeah. Todd. Well, you know what? Brandon Marville says that, you know, he's not related to any of the people that he's actually helping. He says he just has a big heart to want to see these people get back on their feet. I ain't seen you lately. How you been? Beverly Sands is getting a chance to relax and not worry about her current living situation. A little bit of normalcy, a little something to enjoy this holiday. Sands, her mother, and 23 other Bahamians who are victims of Hurricane Dorian were invited to Brandon Merville's house for a Christmas dinner. Jenny, right? Jeannie. Yeah. Jeannie, yes. Yeah. Oh, I love you. It feels wonderful. Um, we've been so blessed with so many nice people here. I want you all to know you all are always welcome here. He says sharing is a part of community service. It's like somebody having the will and the power and the desire to do something for its community. For this fellow Bahamian, this is not a one-time deal. Every Sunday we've been doing this. Some of them, um, we pre-pack the food into half pans and take it to them. Food galore there is from the kitchen to the table out front. Sand says the Christmas spirit is everywhere. I don't remember when last I've met such wonderful people. There's a lot of nice people and a lot of good food for them. Uh, uh, Brandon says that he's actually throwing a party for some Bahamian folks that are actually leaving in January. So the first Saturday of January, Dwyer Park, 1 o'clock, if you're interested, food, fun, and music. Live in downtown West Palm, WPTV News Channel 5. Well, Chris